Francisco Rodriguez, Carpentry Blakensburg. One by one, young carpenters and plumbers, electricians, masons, and others were honored for completing a project few students would ever attempt. They built a house from scratch all by themselves. At a recent awards ceremony, school officials lavished praise on the 290 career and technical education students who just completed the 43rd Student Built House, a tradition that dates back to 1981. Not everyone can say that they know how to put pipe in the wall to receive water so you can wash your hands. Not everyone can say that they know how to connect the wires to turn on the light so that you can see. So you all have done a phenomenal job. A phenomenal job indeed. For if the outside of 7804 Lusby's turn in Brandywine delights the eye, and it does, just take a look inside. The 3,900 square foot home boasts four bedrooms, three and a half baths, the master bath being especially sumptuous, a finished basement, an elegant walkway above the living room, I love how on the um, top floor you could look down at everybody. Like I can imagine like having like a party and like looking down, talking to all my guests. <laughs> and cost cutting features that make the on-site project manager want to move in himself. I would move in because I know they're energy efficient. So I know this house here, it only has 2% energy loss. Mm -hmm. So once it, hit, once it hits temperature, you're not gonna lose any air. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of options in here. You know, we got 30 recess cans in the house, and we got ceiling fans in the house, and granite kitchen, and the whole first floor is hardwood. And there's a lot of upgrade stuff in here, and uh, I'd move in in a minute. For the student builders, many of whom were given scholarships, the house raising has raised their hopes for the future. Congratulations to Musio Saavedra. I can expand. This program helped me expand my knowledge in carpentry. I learned a lot. My plans are to still continue uh, being a carpenter. Mm -hmm. And well, that 700, I will use it as to buy more tools if I need for necessary. Mm -hmm. So I will use it outside in the real world. They were two best kids we had all year. So you could send them out right now and could they get a job? Oh yeah, I'd hire either one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get a superintendent job for Musil right now. Yeah. He's, he's that good. And even if going into the trades isn't in their future, none of the students would trade away the discipline they learned that will be valuable in any job they seek. Um, the one skill that you learn in construction is there are three parts to getting this done. It's scope, what are you doing, what are you building? Schedule, how quickly are you going to build it, and the budget. You always try to stay within the budget. You know, it's more than just placing brick and laying carpet and installing wire. It is a whole mindset that this project teaches kids. So they will walk away with more than just this experience. They'll walk away with a new way of thinking. Captured by a Northwestern High School video production class, the CTE students from 10 different high schools labored long and prevented shorts. Those would be the electricians as their house took shape a house they, to a person, would live in if they could just come up with the asking price, $490,000. Well, it looks really nice, and I mean, if I had the money, then I would actually move <laughs> in instead. <laughs> it may be true that a house is not a home if there's no one there, but 7804 Lusby's turn occupied or not over the coming years, will always radiate the spirit and the pride of its youthful builders. This is Dave Zarin reporting.